one of the things that has characterized your career is obviously a lot of work with organizations and sort of consultative sort of relationships. And I'm wondering, you know, what are the things that you have learned or what is one or two of the kind of the key insights you've had from that experience as, as a consultant? Interestingly, it goes all the way back to graduate school where one of the things I remember is when we were doing general semantics and someone, you know, said, what's a cow? That after all the definitions of bovines and so on, the answer was you point at one. <laughs> Say, that's a cow. Right. That's always stuck with me. And I found that very useful today when someone says, I want to do a culture survey or I want to change my culture. Mm -hmm. So I say, well, give me an example of what you mean by culture. Mm -hmm. And often people have never even thought about that. Mm -hmm. They think everybody knows what that word means. Or uh, in this latest book, I'm going to struggle with concepts of trust and openness, mm -hmm. which are two words that are bandied about, or the word relationship. Right. So if somebody says, well, I want a better relationship, I might very well say, well, give me an example of what is a relationship in mm -hmm. the first place. And then maybe what's an example of better. Right. But always, always go down the abstraction ladder. Don't get caught up in semantics at the high level because it, it always leads to frustration. Mm -hmm. We discover six months later that we were talking about different things when we yeah. should be settling right now, what is it you really mean yeah. when you say culture or trust? And the only way we can find out is through asking for examples. Mm 